Maligayang pagdating sa lungsod ng Tayabas. Tayabas was founded in 1578 by two Spanish Franciscan missionaries, Fray Juan de Plasencia and Fray Diego de Oropesa, in order to spread Christianity to its natives. The first constituted municipal government was established in 1620 with Don Lucas Plata as Capitan. Noong 1642, sinabatas ng mga Espanyol na ang lahat ng tao kabilang ang mga tayabasin ay kailangang magtanim ng tig dalawanta ang puno ng niyo. Kung kaya, ang lupain ng tayabas ay napuno ng malalawak na niyugan. From 1749 to 1901, Tayabas was the capital of the province of Tayabas. In the 19th century, Tayabas was among the biggest towns in the country with an area of 31,830 hectares divided into 66 barangays. By virtue of RA 9398, Tayabas was converted into a component city on July 14, 2007. As per 2015 census of population, Tayabas is inhabited by 99,779 people. Ay di ni sa Tayabas, yan ang saya, parini ka! Casa Comunidad de Tayabas, originally built from makeshift materials and served as a tribunal by Gobernador Auxilio Francisco Lopez in 1776. It was reconstructed in 1831 when Don Diego Enriquez was Gobernador Auxilio and it became a lavish edifice in 1837 as a guest house for visiting Spanish dignitaries. It became a garrison for Filipino soldiers during World War II. Casa Comunidad de Tayabas is the place where Apolinario de la Cruz or Hermano Pulik was tried and sentenced to death in 1841. It is the most unique and the biggest bahay na bato in the country because of its massive structure. Casa Comunidad de Tayabas was declared National Historical Landmark on June 1, 1978. It currently houses the museum and the city library. St. Michael Minor Basilica. The original structure was made of bamboo, nipa, and anahaw, built by the Franciscan priests in 1585 with St. Michael Archangel as patron saint. It was repaired in 1590 under San Pedro Bautista. The permanent brick church was built in 1600. It was damaged by an earthquake in 1743. It was rebuilt and expanded in 1856 with the addition of transept and copula. The height of the church was 28.8 meters. The brick tile roof was replaced with galvanized iron sheets in 1894. It is a Baroque-influenced architectural and interior design. It is the second biggest and most beautiful church in the Philippines with the longest church aisle measuring 103 meters. The belfry is as tall as a six-story edifice where the six 16th century giant bronze bells with the Spanish inscription and names of Roman Catholic saints are installed. The biggest, the oldest, and the only one of its kind European church clock in Asia was installed at the belfry in 1818. 
a 140 kilogram heavyweight that operates the whole clock, he strikes a giant bell to announce the time intervals of every one and a half hour at the belfry. One can see as far as the island province of Marinduque in the distance. The title Basilica Minor was conferred by Pope John Paul II on October 1988 and was proclaimed on January 21, 1989. Sanctuario de las Almas was originally built in 1755 as cemetery along the road to Barrio Wakas. It was named Campo Santo para los Españoles, a distinction between Campo Santo para los Indios in Barangay Bag. Sanctuario de las Almas was known as Ermita de San Roque and is now a place for devotees of San Diego de Alca. Ermita de Nuestra Señora de Angustias, popularly known as Ermita. The chapel was built in 1838. It was severely damaged due to bombings by the U.S. Air Force in 1945. Ermita de Nuestra Señora de Angustias hosts the yearly Turumba Festival in honor of Nuestra Señora Dolorosa de Turumba. Calibudin, a portion of Emilio Jacinto Street, known for selling budin or cassava cake. Calibudin is a one-stop pasalubong center of all sorts of delicacies. Tayabas is home to 12 Spanish colonial bridges. Puente del Alitao Ang tulay ng Alitao sa Ilog Alitao ay nagdudugtong sa munting bayan at poblasyon. Pinagawa ni Don Jose Medillo noong 1798 ang tulay na kahon sa Ilog Alitao sa panahon ng panunungkulan ni Don Juan Lopez. Ang tulay ng Alitao ay ginawang bato na may apat na arpong pagitan noong 1823 sa panahon ng panunungkulan ni Don Diego Urbano. Puente di Isabel Dos Tulay ni Isabel Dos sa Ilog Iam na nasasakupan ng Barangay Bagyo nilagak ni Gobernador Don Jose Maria ang unang bato noong ikalamil lima ng Marso 1852 Ang huli ay inilagak noong Julio 6, 1853 Ang tulay ay parangal kay Reina Isabel de Dos ng Espanya Puente de Orbeston tulay ni Orbis Tondo na nasa ilog Malaw. Natapos gawain noong Julio 31, 1852 na kinapapalooban ng 10,000 piraso ng adobe ipinangalan kay Antonio de Orbes Tundo y India, kastilang gobernador general na nagtatag ng kauna-unahang Bangko Espanyol Filipino noong 1851. Ang tulay ay pinasabog noong World War II. Muling itinayo bilang konkretong tulay noong panahon ng panunungkulan ni Gobernador Anacleto Alcala. Puente di Don Francisco de Asis Tulay di Don Francisco de Asis na nasa ilong dumo Natapos gawain noong Oktubre 15, 1854 na may kabuo ang bilang na 9,967 na bato Ipinangalan kay Don Francisco de Asis na asawa ni Reina Isabel de Dos Tulay ng bae na nasa sapang bae sa marangay dapdap Nagsilbing hanggahan sa matandang kalsada ng Dapdap, Palola, mula sa ibaba, makikita ang katangitangi nitong disenyo ng Pilipit na Arto. Puente de las Despedidas Tulay ng pamamaalam na nasa ilog ng malaking ibiya sa barangay Lalo. Tinaguri ang tulay ng pamamaalam sa panahon ng Kastila sapagat dito huling namamaalam ang mga tayabasin kapag sila ay lumuluwas ng Laguna o Maynila. Kapansin-pansin rin dito ang paghimpil ng mga kabayo at karitela na may iniaag ng mga papaluwas. Puente de la S. Tulay na S sa Ibiyang Munti sa Barangay Kamaysa. Inansagang S dahil kahugis nito ang letrang S. Puente de la Princesa Tulay ng prinsesa sa ilayang dumakaan sa sitio Lansunis. 
tulay na parangal alay sa prinsesa ng Asturias ng Hilagang Espanya. Ang tulay na ito ay pinasabog noong World War II. Puente del Malagunlong Tulay ng Malagunlong sa ilog dumaka sa barangay Matikuna. Construction began in 1841 during the time of Don Joaquin Ortega and was finished in 1850. The name of Fray Antonio Mateos is intimately connected with the story of its construction because of its direction with five high and beautiful arches of solid design that withstood the dynamites planted there to stop the Japanese advance during World War II. Sa limang artong pagitan, ang una ay 36 na talampakan ang taas at lapat. Ang pangalawa at pangatlo ay may 33 talampakan ang taas at lapat. Ang pangapat ay may 30 talampakan ang lapat. At ang panglima ay may lapad namang 18 talampakan. Ang maringal at matatag na tulay na ito ay may habang 445 talampakan made from approximately 100,000 adobe blocks. Sa ibabaw ng tulay ay mababasa sa habilog na panandang bato ang sumusunod na titik. Siendo Gobernador Silio de Esta Camisera en el año de 1850 con Julian S. Francisco. Puente del Lakawan Tulay ng Lakawan sa Ilong Lakawan ito ay mayroong isang arpong pagitan at mayroong sumusunod na supa. Dalawampot apat na talampakan ang taas at apat na put dalawang talampakan ang lapat. Puente del Mate Tulay ng mate sa ilog mate. Mayroong isang arpong pagitan na may sukat na labing walong talampakan ang taas at tatlumput tatlong talampakan ang lapat. Puente del Hibanga At the boundaries of Kalumpang and Barangay Hibanga in Sariaya, Puente del Hibanga is a two-art span Spanish colonial bridge. Mayuhan Festival A Thanksgiving event marked with Agro Trade Fair in honor of San Isidro Labrador, patron saint of farmers for the good harvest and abundance of agricultural produce. Launched in 1988 in a brainchild collaboration of film director of Lantunates and the local government, the festival kicks off with Parada ng Balisco, an art symbolizing warm welcome, connoting Tuloy Po Kayo Ito Sa Tayabas. All 66 barangays, civil society organizations, and various sectors joined the parade displaying their distinct art of creating their own balisco using indigenous materials and farm produce. The fifth day of San Isidro Labrador, May 15, highlights Hagisan ng Suman. Thousands of devotees joined the parade to partake of the Suman that are literally thrown from the windows of houses along the parade route. Tai Chinoy Festival, a tribute to the first five Chinese families who migrated directly to Tayabas from Amoy, China, who worked as farmers somewhere in Barangay Mas and helped shape the economic foundation of the locality. A connecting bridge between the Chinese and Tayabense people to heal discrimination. Tai Chinoy Festival highlights dragon and lion guns presentation. There are Chinese-inspired activities being held to promote learning and awareness of the Chinese culture and tradition. Festejo de los Angeles Held during the celebration of the town fiesta every 29th of September, Festejo de los Angeles, or Festival of Angels, pays honor to the patron saint. Saint Michael the Archangel and all the other archangels. People wearing angel suits parade all over the city, dancing to the hymn of the archangels. There are living archangels joining the parade, played by angelic-looking male actors. Mainit Hot Spring Resort A therapeutic, natural hot spring with very nice facilities. This spring is believed to be the crater of a dormant volcano. Mainit Hot Spring, located in Sitio Mainit, Parangay Silangan Palal, just about 20-minute drive from the city proper. 
na wawalang paraiso resorts and hotel. The ultimate place for fun, rest, recreation, and romance. Frolic in the refreshingly cold natural spring water with swimming pools, hotel, restaurant, and cottages. It is Quezon's favorite holiday, retreat, and dining venue with alluring, pleasant, and enjoyable charisma. Located at Barangay Kamaysa, just a 10-minute drive from the city proper. Tamayan sa pala isdaan. The restaurant's centerpiece is a thriving fish pond atop of which sits several nipa huts on floating bamboo wraps for authentic taste of Tayabas cuisine, lights, and delectable foods. Inihaw na plapla, hito, suso, and other fresh water catches. Kamayan sa Palaisdan is located at Barangay Dapda. Air Summit Gourmet An airplane restaurant serving American dishes, French cuisine, Japanese foods, and Filipino favorites. Air Summit, a great spot for photo shoots, located at Barangay Dapda. Palaisdan Hotel and Restaurant, 2010's best restaurant in Quezon Province, serving inihaw na plapla, hito, suso, and other fresh water touches. Palaisdan Hotel and Restaurant is located at the foot of Mount Banahaw in Sitio Lansunesan, Parangay Dapdap, within the declared tourism zone, where tourist spots and other places of interest are found. Graceland Estates and Country Club a lavish 11 hectare development inside a 22 hectare property located along the Eco Tourism District of Tayaba City. It features a wide variety of nature inspired amenities and attractions for individual, family, or group interests. Wasteland structures and facilities are designed and planned to complement the natural contours of the land located at Barangay Lalo, Tayaba City. Rodilia Shiema Cake, an irresistible mouth-watering dessert. Two-layered sponge cake covered with yema icing made from condensed milk and egg yolk with liberal sprinkling of grated cheese. Ang masarap na budin o kasaba cake. Baked kasaba pudding, favorite pasalubo of tourists, available anytime of the day in Talye Pudding. Nilupak. Mas kilala sa tawag na binukbuk na saging o balinghoy. Traditionally made by pounding the saging na saba or balinghoy to a sticky pudding consistency with sugar, condensed milk, peanut butter, and margarine. Tayaba's famous coco vodka, called lambano, is made from the nectar of flowers of coconut trees that went through distillation process. To gather stuff, agile men climb up the coconut trees and would cross from one tree to another via long bamboo poles connected to the trees. This network of coconut trees is called karitan. The sap is collected overnight and contained in a bamboo cylinder called kukit, gathered from tree to tree using a weight, a metallic cylindrical container, and lowered to the ground on rope for collection by an assistant called magtatanga. Pangangar is not only a job but a culture. And there's an art in drinking lambano. The occasion is usually coupled with singing with accompaniment from a guitar player who is also one among the kainuman. One common glass called tagaya is placed on the table and is shared by everybody which symbolizes their common level in the society and of course, camaraderie. When it is your turn to drink your tagay, you will have to say, Aking ko! Before taking the crown, and your kainuman would reply, Pakinabangan po. Dini sa Tayabas, yan ang saya, parini ka!